It's Candace. Pebfoot's inside in the crate. Remus is back there in his car seat. And I'm waiting for my friend Nita. Um, we are going to the Center for Puppetry Arts in Atlanta today. Um, this weekend is the last weekend they are doing the Labyrinth exhibit in the um, for their Jim Henson exhibit they have going on up there. I don't know if they're taking away all of the Jim Henson exhibit or just the Labyrinth part, but um, I'm shaking <laughs> so because I'm very hot and tired. Um, look, I fell and scratched my face yesterday. I, whenever I bump my chin, it's always on that same spot. I don't know why. Anyway, so I don't know if it's just the labyrinth exhibit going away. I think that's what it is. But then, um, at, after that, around 6 o'clock, they're doing a book signing um, for the new Dark Crystal vis um, Ultimate visual history or something like that with Cheryl Henson who is the daughter of Jim Henson and there's going to be some fan film um, screenings going on in relation to the Dark Crystal and then after that there's a special screening of the Dark Crystal so me and my friend Nita and baby Remus are going um, to the museum today. I've not been to the Center for Puppet Puppetry Arts um, for many many years um, at least 20 something years so this is going to be a lot of fun. I didn't want to miss it um, I knew they had this labyrinth um, exhibit for a while and something just told me to see if they still had it because um, I wanted to see it and um, luckily they did but this weekend is the last weekend that they have it so um, I'm glad I, glad I got that feeling to check it when I did so definitely looking forward to go see it um, it is um, 2 o'clock Saturday um, September 29th and looking forward to going so we are headed out here in just a bit I'm freaking out because I hate getting on the interstate because me bad anxiety I'm already freaking out but see you guys in a bit peace hi it's Candace good morning it's the next day and here's stop scratching his allergies are acting up so it's making him scratch worse so I say hi Petfoot says Petfoot Mooney hi I know. I love you too. Go get a biscuit. And, of course, baby Remus. Who, he and I are having crazy bad hair day this morning. Um, so, <clears throat> barely surviving uh, the event yesterday. I am uh, really exhausted and in pain, but, um, it was so totally worth it. Um, it was just such an amazing event. We had such a good time. And I just don't know where to start. Um, so let me start by saying um, this video would be very, very long. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video down into three separate vlogs. I'm going to do for this vlog... Um, I'm going to do the, do the museum tour and sh show you guys through the walkthrough of the museum and I'll also show you the items I got signed by Cheryl Henson and then in the second video I will um, show you the footage I got from the fan, the Dark Crystal Fan Festival part and I'll, I'll have a in, separate intro video for that as well explaining more about that that particular vlog video and then the third video what I've decided to do is I, it's just going to be a video um, slideshow of the 
all the photos that Nita and I took at the event. Um, you know, just something simple so that you guys can see all the uh, photos because not everything. Um, you can't see everything. Um, you know, that might have been missed in videos, apparently. So, um, I want to share with you guys some of the stuff from the exhibits and, exhibits and stuff that we got uh, photos of as well. So, but for this vlog, just to uh, start off, um, we, we, after we left here, we went to Atlanta and we stopped at the very famous Varsity for lunch. And then we headed on over to the museum. We hit up the gift shop. Um, they um, this week the new Dark Crystal, the Ultimate Visual History book was just released. Um, it's written by Cassine Gaines with a forward by Cheryl Henson, which is Jim Henson's daughter, and she was there doing um, the book signings and introduction by uh, Brian and Wendy Froud who are um, Brian Froud was the conceptual um, artist for the creatures and sets um, on Labyrinth and Dark Crystal as well as well as Mirror Mask which is a very underrated uh, film but um, I've been collecting Brian Froud's art books for years and there's also a Labyrinth one that just recently came out as well that I've got to add to my collection. So I picked this up, and this book is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, it's one of those very interactive kind of books where it's got stuff inside of it. You know, so um, a lot of the the Froud artwork. God, Lord! So, if you guys can see it. But if you're a Dark Crystal, Jim Henson, Brian Froud fan, you know, these books are definitely must haves. And then, as it was a book signing for the release of this book. Cheryl signed it for me and I had originally said um well, I was gonna get the book regardless and but I t um my, my friend Nita had didn't have anything to get signed she wanted to get signed for a friend and I had several variant covers of I'm collecting the new line of the Power of the Dark Crystal comics, and I I, I was able to easily replace um, one of the the variant covers, so I gave that one to Nita, and then I actually had this one from and I know don't say anything you know but horrible horrible nerd block but they did the Emerald City Comic Con. Um, box a few months ago which sucked but the only redeeming quality of the box was the black and white uh, variant number one cover of the Dark Crystal comic and originally was going to have her sign it but this was a sold out event and it was really crowded and me and Nita were the first ones in line uh, for the signing and I had just tucked this inside the book so when she went to uh, sign the book she she wanted to sign this too. So, um, you know, thank you, Miss Cheryl. For, you know, I really appreciate that you you did that as well. So she signed my Dark Crystal comic, and like I said, it was a a sold out event. That was my little ticket. I, I'm big on saving ticket stubs like that. And then for the first part of the event, I wore my my labyrinth shirt. This is the original one from the Zen Monkey Studio site. 
Um, but I, I have two other versions that Zen Monkey Studios did for Nerdblock. And unfortunately, Nerdblock screwed them over on that design. But I wore, I like the purple, blue one better. So I wore this one. And then for the dark crystal part of the evening, for that part of the event, I wore my other Zen Monkey Studios shirt. And it's the dark crystal one. Um, then... So after we did the book signing, then we went into the Labyrinth exhibit, and I think we started going into the other side of the puppetry exhibit at the museum, and then they started doing calls to come in for the Fan Film Festival, um, which... In the next video, I'll go into more detail about that. So then, they did a little bit of an intermission for that. And we went back and we finished as much as we could through the rest of the Jim Henson exhibit. And um, then we went back in for the, the screening of The Dark Crystal. So it was it was really a a fun fun night. It today is the last day you could see the labyrinth exhibit. It's um closing out and moving um after today. Um it's been here for a while and I I knew that a while back, but at the time I I didn't have a car and um and even even if I had got, been able to get somebody to go with me, you know, last year before I even moved, um, you know, it's a lot of events like this. It's not something I can always afford, even though this one actually was just $16, which, you know, included everything. And, um, you know, it's not something I can always afford, but, um, and not just that, I, I can't. Physically, I can't always afford it either because, you know, I just, I'm in, always in a lot of pain with my fibromyalgia and arthritis. You know, the, the walking, the standing, sitting too long, you know, it's just a combination of things. But, you know, this was just something that I knew I'd reg I would regret if I, if I didn't do. And um, this, this film event and book signing was also just a um, one-time thing. I fell and hit my face the other day. See, I got a boo boo. So, um, so I knew I would regret it if I didn't do this. And um, even though I I spent most of the night all night uh, crying because my arthritis was just killing me so bad, you know, it was so totally worth the pain I'm dealing with today. Um, everything was amazing, and um, Cheryl Henson is just such a sweetheart. Um, and, and for, for, for Asia Erickson over at Wear Pups, you know, who made Wear Pup Remus, um, I was hoping just <clears throat> more than anything to be able to get a photo of Remus, um, for Asia with, um, Cheryl Henson, and I was able to do that, and that was so amazing, because I figured of all places that Remus would fit him the most, it would be at a, a museum for puppets, and, you know, odd creatures and such, and he was a big hit there, everybody absolutely loved him, and he got, he got babied a lot there, it's like he definitely fit right in, especially the, the museum staff absolutely loved him, I think they wanted him to come visit quite often, but, um, but she was just a real, real sweet lady, and, and I, um, from a lot of the plaques they have, um, put up around there, apparently the Henson family has donated a lot of money and a lot of, um, Jim Henson's, um, puppets and, not just puppets, but a lot of memorabilia and other related things, um, to this museum, so that's just amazing. I have not been to the, uh, Atlanta's uh, Center for Puppetry Arts in at least over 20 years. And it's an amazing place and it's changed a lot. And I just, 
I, I'm just so amazed. And in, in a few months, uh, there, um, there's going to be a dark crystal exhibit that's going to replace the labyrinth one that's uh, leaving after today. And I'm so, so excited about that. And I just I cannot wait. This place is just absolutely amazing. Um, I wish I had gone to see this this exhibit sooner so that it wouldn't have been so rushed. But um, definitely, if you if you live in Atlanta or you come to visit Atlanta, definitely check out uh, Center for Puppetry Arts because they do have a Jim Henson um, exhibit with permanent pieces so I, I'm assuming you can visit it at any time I, I don't know my my booklets over there um, so I think it's just an ongoing exhibit there so definitely check it out if you are from here and never been or visit Atlanta definitely check them out but um, yes yeah, so um, I actually think I might have to split this into four videos because I didn't expect uh, sharing my experience would, you know, be almost 14 minutes long. But I just want to share that my experience with you guys. I just, I was so totally blown away. Um, it, it, you know, that I saw. The Dark Crystal in the cinema twice when it was released. I think that was in 81 or 82. Maybe 82, I think. But I was maybe around, around you know, nine years old. And, um, and I got to see it twice. My mom told me to see it, and she, she told my dad how great it was. And he was a huge Star Wars fan like me. So he wanted to go see it, so um, he made me go with him to see it. And, you know, I didn't object. So being able to see it in a cinematic setting again, you know, brings back some childhood memories. And seeing the puppets and costumes and setting pieces, you know, you're, you're looking at, you know, a piece of cinematic history. And same with Labyrinth. And it was just such an amazing experience. It makes me want to cry. It gives me cold chills. It was so overwhelming. And I think that's another reason why I'm, my body hurts so bad is I was so tense. Well, you know, I've got the social anxiety thing. So it was really, really hard to be in a very crowded area. So that was very tense. Um, so, you know, that takes a strain on my, my joints. But also my body being tense and stressed out from the a good overwhelming experience as well because um, it was it was just really amazing and I just felt so honored to be uh, you know a part of such a rare experience and a, such a rare event um, and it was just ugh, I just cannot stop saying it enough how amazing it was so but um, check out the following three videos um, like I said, I will do um, one video of the museum tour, and the following ones will be the book signing and film festival events, and then the final one will be a photo slideshow of all the photos Nita and I took at the event so but that is it for us peace be sure to like comment and subscribe bye